I've mentioned previously the menu widgets are really for lo-fi prototyping. If you want to style it exactly how you want it to appear, you're better off making a custom menu. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So let's go through to our header and now we want to add links. We're not going to drag over a menu widget, we're simply going to see the different options available to us. So I'm going to use some buttons in this instance. Other things you can do is insert some shapes um, that you would like, but let's just do the buttons for now. So I'm going to drag over a button. Um, let's make our four pages. I'll just make it a little bit wider. There we go. And by holding the Option and Shift down, I can make duplicates. There we go. And I might drag that all the way. Now, if I select these and I go to, where's our Distribute? Arrange, Distribute distribute horizontally and that will space them evenly. I can double click to give them the page names, home, beach, restaurants, recreation. And now I can go in and style these. Um, another thing I might want is a drop down menu, but I'll show you that in the next video. So let's style these first. So I'll go into style. The font is a bit small, so let's bring this up to 20. That's a little bit more reasonable. Uh, I might decide I want to have the colour, that teal colour that I've been using before, the dark teal. Uh, I may want the border to match that. And you can see that the border has a rounded edge at the moment. Um, so that may be something that you want. Whoops, why didn't this happen? Border. Uh, let's change that to the teal and we'll increase the thickness there to three pixels. And you can see currently I've got five pixel corner radius. Let's do that 15 to make it more of a, um, a pill shape. And if I'm happy with that, I can then just update and that will update all of them. Now, of course, if you're using buttons elsewhere on your pages, you don't want to update to make them all look like the menu, uh, unless that's a stylistic choice of yours. So in that case, you would create a new style, of course. So now let's give us some uh, interactions. So we're going to do new interaction. Um, we're going to have, where are we? On, on click, open link, and that'll go to the index, beach, new interaction, on click, open link, beach, uh, restaurants. Let's just do the common interaction here. That'll save us some time. Uh, restaurants, okay. And on click, open link, recreation. Okay, fantastic. And now let's give it a mouse over style effect as well. So mouse over style. Widget style, we're going to choose button. Again, if you've created a custom widget style, use that. Fill color, let's do the opposite. Let's give it the that as the fill color. And whoopsie, need to edit that. Sorry, just to show you what I did. I accidentally closed out of it, so I select my menu item again, go into the interactions, and we've got mouse over here. So I can double click on that to bring it up. Uh, mouse over our fill color is that color. We also want to change our font color to white. Our font size was 20, so don't ask me why that's changed back to 13. So let's do that. Okay, so now uh, this should update all of them. Let's go and have a look. No, it has not. Let's see why that is happening. Widget style button. Uh, okay, I'm just going to click done and let's see if that then updates it. No, now that is very interesting, isn't it? Okay, so let's have a look at another one of these. Mouse over style effect. Widget style button. Let's see if that, no, now isn't that interesting? Okay, so widget style, widget style allegedly is button. 
um, fill color. We'll change that back here. Font size 20, font color white. Click OK. Is this going to update? Well, it's got those ones. Okay, I'm going to have to go through and do every single one of that. How irritating. Um, yeah, if you know why that didn't work, please email me to let me know why that's not working um, because that's really interesting. Um, okay. working on those two but not the others okay I'm not going to show you as I update every single one of them but I'm going to between videos update those ones and also give them the same rollover effect and in the next video I'll show you how you can create a custom drop-down menu